I was looking for something on Ryan's phone, and the list of his last few searches came up. Okay. So, one of them was entered the night of the murder. Digitalis poison death. So what do we do now? What do we do about what? What do we do about the fact that the police won't leave you alone? Well, it's nice to see your dreary little marriage hasn't sucked all the fire out of you. You are an ass. And you have a hell of a right swing. So you gonna tell me why you did that? Or you want me to guess? I helped you find AJ. I actually felt for you. And all your talk about how, how you and Scott have everything in common now, the, the business, the family. <laughs> and you, you actually made it seem like you were ready to start working as, as a team, all together. And, and I defended you. I, I can't believe that I actually believed a word that you said. This family, this company, is the most important thing to me. Oh yeah? Is that why you put out a bogus press release saying that Scott is moving to Europe? Well, if he's so damn determined to prove himself, what better way than to take on Chandler's uh, problems overseas? Please, you. You just want Scott as far away as possible because you were threatened by him. Did you think we would actually just pack up our stuff and move away because, because you put out some ridiculous fake announcement? No. I don't think you're going anywhere. Now you're not going to try to tell me that your cousin Junior and you are best pals, are you? No, I'm not going to try to tell you anything. Why are you so skittish about sitting down? I'm not going to bite. No, I'm not skittish. I just don't like being conned into meetings with anyone. I'm not particularly happy my wife went behind my back. Well, maybe she believes it would be beneficial for both of us. Yeah? Well, see why we have nothing to talk about. If you don't go, you don't know. Why don't you just give it a listen? You might like what you hear. Look, I, I really appreciate the concern, but the police aren't exactly harassing me right now. Yeah, but, Ryan, you're still a suspect. Yeah, Jesse's just doing his job. Well, then he should look somewhere else. Leave you alone. I'm not going to hide from the police. I won't do it. In fact, the best thing that I could do is I should go to them. You can't do that. You've answered their questions. The charges were dropped. You're a free man. No, I'm not a free man. Not until I know what happened that night. Stop going to the police, okay? If they have questions, have your attorney tell them that you already cooperated. Be done with it. Well, why are you so If you keep about popping this? up on their radar... I I'm already all over their radar. Okay, so really? what if they ask you questions and you say something? Completely innocent, but they use it against you. They twist it so they can make an arrest, solve the crime, be stars. Okay, all right. I mean, that's a good point. I'll go directly to Jesse because I know I know Jesse wouldn't put an innocent man in jail. Are you really going to do this? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this. The, the, the questions the police want answered are exactly the same as the questions that I want answered. Okay, I, I want to know what happened that night. I want to know why I don't remember, and maybe Jesse's questions will help trigger something. Would you for once in your life just step away from doing the hero thing? Forget the police, forget that night. Think about Emma and Spike. Live your life. For all the people who love you. Look, that's the man who fixed our computers. Oh, hey there, Miranda. How you doing? This is my mom. Hey. Hi, Bianca Montgomery. Astro Pike, you called us in to make sure there was no smoke damage to your network. Oh, right, right, not the usual guy. Uh, Miranda said you were really nice. <laughs> I hope everyone's okay. Fires can be scary. Yeah, we're all fine, aren't we? Uh, the guy that lives in your house. Caleb? Yeah, mm -hmm. Mr. Cooney. Cortland, um, kind of kicked me out before I could make sure everything was working properly. Oh, well, yeah, we haven't had any problems. Sometimes glitches can be dormant until you run the wrong process. Usually happens on page 
49 in that 50-page term paper. I can finish the work. You just give me a time. Uh, what's Mr. Corton's schedule like? Oh, do you want to see him or avoid him? <laughs> Whichever makes the schedule work. How did you like the game I left on the computer for you? It's so much fun. Don't tell her, but it's educational. Yeah. Do you have any more games like that? Are you, educational? Are you kidding? I'm the man. I teach kids computer skills, and Miranda here's got a real talent for it. Can you give me lessons, Mom? Please? I read the press release. You must be very excited. Europe. It's so European. You already know the press release was planted by J.R.? Ah, Cousin Junior. What a fine man. Just like his daddy. What do you want from me? Scott, heading a multi-million dollar company takes somebody with a very clear, cool head. Somebody who thinks before he acts. I'm flattered. Well, I'm not trying to flatter you. The fact is that as smart as you are, I don't think you've got what it takes. You don't have the taste for blood that Junior has. You don't have the experience, and you could use somebody to cover your flank. Someone like you. We both know that Chandler, European division, is struggling. And I would be willing to invest a substantial sum. Really? Mm -hmm. Something tells me you wouldn't exactly be a silent partner. You'd have an ally on the inside. And you'd have a path back to Portland Electronics. Why would I want to invest with someone whose agenda is to undermine my company? Mm. Yeah, I could be in this to screw you. Or I could be your best shot at giving Cousin Junior a taste of his own medicine. Yeah, I think I'll pass. The next time you want to meet, call me directly. Looks like someone could use a little refreshment. Lemon and sugar, just like you like. And brought another one for me, just in case you want to take a little study break. You know, I, I could use a permanent break. It's not like any of this stuff is sticking in my head. Maybe that's because uh, your head is filled with all kinds of worry for a certain little boy. It's just so hard. You know, watching what AJ's going through, all the fighting at school, the acting out, the running away. I don't know, maybe he's taking David's death a lot harder than we thought. Maybe he's not the only one. You know, AJ is in trouble, and what does JR do? He starts his own fights. He tries to bribe the principal. Well, I wish I could say I'm surprised. JR and I promised each other that we wouldn't fight for AJ's sake, but to JR, that means that he just does whatever he wants and I don't get in his way. I mean, did he really think that I wasn't gonna find out? All right, you know, what JR did was wrong, absolutely. But as hard as it sounds, maybe you should keep the peace for AJ's sake and not butt heads. Well, I don't want to fight with JR, but sometimes he makes it impossible to be civil. Yes, but what you have to do is just bite your tongue, count to ten, you know, and think about the future. Think about AJ. My son is in a tailspin, and JR's answer is to pay people off and try to cover up AJ's problems. And you want me to bite my tongue? I I'm sorry, but I'm definitely not going to do that. What the hell are you trying to prove? The obvious. By sandbagging Scott? All that does is weaken Chandler, the company that apparently you're trying to build. If Scott can't handle the competition, he can get out. I'll buy his no, shares. No, Scott has done nothing but help this company and help this family. Why can't you just accept that? He's in my way. <laughs> Too bad for you. It's funny. Adam actually wanted Scott running the company, not you. No, this company is my legacy. Not the adopted cousins. My father acted like a spiteful old fool when he chose Scott over me. Oh, so now you're having a little temper tantrum because Daddy didn't give you what you wanted? Grow up and get over it. I only want what's mine. No, that's the problem, JR. You want everything to be yours. The company, the name, the power, the money. Well, too bad there's something that you will never have. Me. Oh, but wait. Didn't I already have you? <sighs> Past tense, JR. I 
love my husband, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure that he gets everything that he deserves. Bring it on. You two are amateurs. You really, really don't want to make me your enemy. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. Would you like some water? I don't want anything from you. Really? Because I'd love to give you everything that your heart desires. Walk away, Ryan. It's over. I know what I'm doing. Come on, talk to him. Look, like Jesse, it'll do any good. Jesse is a friend, okay? He's yeah, he's friend. under a lot of pressure from the mayor and Miss D.A. Liza Colby. She wants to nail someone for David's murder, and she doesn't care if it's you. I get that. Believe me, that, that's perfectly clear, but I need to do this, okay? I, I need to. So just stay with the boys until I get back, and do me a favor. Try, try to keep each other out of trouble, please. Well, maybe we should just trust Ryan on this. And maybe we should do whatever we can to keep him safe. 